This is Collector's Edition. Recently, I spoke with Scott Olson about his collection. Well, I um, started out collecting old telephones and that expanded into old radios and um, then it expanded again into just early plastic items um, and related items, um, old fountain pens, I like design elements, art deco style. and. The question that needs answered now is, how does one get started collecting phones? Well, I worked for a company back in the uh, mid-80s, um, and that was a company that made reproductions of old wooden wall telephones. And that kind of got me started on the telephone thing. I wanted to know if Scott has always been a collector. Oh, yeah, I've been a collector all my life. Uh, my family collected coins as, uh, when I was a kid, and of course we didn't have electronic games to play um, <laughs> or anything close to that time. And, um, but uh, I collected baseball cards and um, oh, probably other things I can't think of, but always been a collector. I also wanted to know if there was anything that Scott was looking for. Oh. There, there are always fun, fun things. There's always a telephone or a radio that you've always kind of wanted to have that, you know, you just haven't ever come across or found at the right price. Or mm -hmm. I've even gone to little, little towns on a Saturday morning and gone into the local cafe and sat down, and ordered some coffee and a cookie, and started talking to some of the old guys in there and tell them that, you know, what I was looking for, and so, you know, almost. Every time somebody would say, oh, well, yeah, I think I got an old radio or two. Why don't you come over to my house? And before you'd know it, he'd show up with two or three radios, and the neighbor would start digging stuff out, and I might end up with half a pickup load of telephones <laughs> and radios by the time I left. But that was, uh, that's a lot of the fun is just the thrill of the hunt mm -hmm. and finding something that, you know, hey, that's cool. <laughs> Lastly, I was curious about what piece of his collection he considered to be the most valuable. Well, I have a, an early Art Deco phone, well, actually a couple of them, but uh, one is a, is a blue color, and that was in the era like Model T Fords that you could have every, any color you wanted as long as it was black. Well, most of the phones from that era were black too, but this was an early colored one that I happened to find in an antique mall up in Minnesota years and years and years ago, and the price was phenomenally good, so I was, you know, my heart was pounding away, and uh, I told my wife, I said, don't, don't let the clerk know that <laughs> I found a really good deal. So anyway, but yeah, that was fun. Just uh, one of those quests, you just never know where it's going to, but if you do enough traveling and do enough looking, you'll find stuff.